हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ लेग्रेंजेज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम रिगार्डिंग द प्रूफ ऑफ सम इम्पॉर्टेंट इनइलिटीज राइट सो हियर विल यूज लेग्रेंजेज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम टू प्रूव दिस इनइलिटी इन विच वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस एक्स इज लेस देन ई रेस टू एक्स माइनस वन फॉर ऑल एक्स ग्रेटर देन जीरो right so we'll prove this important inequality uh, using the lagrange's mean value theorem right so let us uh, uh, start and let us apply the conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem uh, to prove this inequality so now first of all what we will do uh, we'll uh, assume an appropriate uh, function right so let us assume a function say y is equal to f of x uh, which is a log of uh, 1 plus x minus e raised to x right so here uh, our function would be f of x is equal to log of 1 plus x minus e raised to x right and we'll define it for the interval uh, 0 to x uh, where x is uh, greater than zero uh, right so we'll prove this inequality with the help of this function and we'll apply uh, the conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem to this function uh, to arrive at this inequality right so now uh, let us apply the first condition of uh, lagrange's mean value theorem to this function right so the first condition is that Uh, this function f of x must be continuous in the interval as zero comma x, right? So f x uh, must be uh, continuous in the interval as zero comma x uh, for all x greater than zero, right? And this is quite evident from uh, the structure of the function. See here f of x. Uh, comprises of the log function and the exponential function right so the log function is a continuous function in its domain and the exponential function is also a continuous function in its domain right so here in the given interval 0 comma x or for all x greater than 0 uh, this log of uh, 1 plus x is continuous then uh, e raised to x is also continuous in the interval 0 comma x right so f of x is a combination of two continuous functions right and we know uh, from differential calculus that if a function uh, is the sum of two continuous functions then the function itself is continuous right so here we can claim that f of x is uh, uh, continuous in the interval uh, 0 comma x for all x greater than 0 right okay now let us take the second condition of lagrange's mean value theorem so now the second condition is that this function must be differentiable uh, in the interval uh, 0 comma x right so fx uh, should be uh, differentiable in the interval open interval 0 comma x for all x greater than 0 so let us find out the derivative of f of x with respect to x so f prime of x is now equal to with the derivative of log of 1 plus x minus derivative of e raised to x and this is 1 over 1 plus x because the derivative of log 1 plus x is 1 over 1 plus x minus the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x right and from uh, this expression we see that uh, the derivative that is f prime of x exist uh, for all x greater than 0 in the interval uh, 0 comma x right so uh, f prime of x which is the derivative of f of x is defined for all x greater than 0 and uh, the interval is this open interval 0 comma x right so the two conditions of lagrange's mean value theorem are satisfied by this function uh, for uh, 0 to x 
right so the lagrange's mean value theorem says that uh, once the function is continuous and differentiable in the given function uh, given interval uh, then uh, there exists some point say x is equal to c where c lies between uh, 0 and x right so here uh, we have 0 and x so c must lie between 0 and x uh, such that such that uh, f prime of c that is uh, the value of the derivative of uh, f of x at x is equal to c uh, must be equal to f of x minus f of 0 divided by x minus 0 right so in general if we have the uh, the uh, interval a comma b then f prime of c uh, must be equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right okay so now f prime of c can be obtained from this expression so we have 1 over 1 plus c for x equal to c we have minus here e raised to c and f of x uh, is a log of 1 plus x minus e raised to x minus uh, f of 0 right so let us find out the value of f of 0 separately so f of 0 is a log of 1 plus 0 minus e raised to 0 and here we have log of 1 minus e raised to 0 is 1 log of 1 is 0 so we have minus 1 right so f of 0 is minus 1 so here we will take minus 1 and in the denominator we have x minus 0 which is x right so now uh, we can write uh, uh, this expression over here so we can write 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c and we have a log of 1 plus x minus e raised to x plus 1 divided by x right so now we'll use this expression uh, to arrive at this inequality so now here uh, this uh, uh, point that is x is equal to c uh, lies between 0 and x right and since uh, x is uh, a positive number so c should also be a positive number right so let us take this expression that is 1 plus c now c is greater than 0 so when we add uh, uh, c to 1 then uh, 1 plus c must be greater than 1 right so let us take the reciprocal of both sides so we have 1 over 1 plus c is less than 1 right so when we take the reciprocal of both sides the direction of the uh, inequality get reversed right okay so now what we will do we will subtract e raised to c uh, both sides right so what we will get we will get 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c and here we have 1 minus e raised to c right okay so now we have this inequality now let us take uh, one more uh, inequality by taking e raised to c is greater than 1 right since c is a positive quantity here and uh, this is a well known fact that uh, e raised to some positive number is always greater than uh, 1 right so e raised to c is greater than 1 so we have e raised to c minus 1 is greater than 0 right now let us multiply both sides by minus 1 so we'll have 1 minus uh, e raised to c is less than 0 right so what we have done here we have multiplied both sides by minus 1 and we have got 1 minus e raised to c is less than 0 right so now if we combine uh, these two inequalities then uh, we'll get 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c is less than 1 minus e raised to c and 1 minus e raised to c is less than 0 right so now we have this inequality right so now if we combine this one and this one then we see that 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c is less than 0 right so we have obtained inequality number 4 uh, from 
uh, this inequality that is inequality number 3 right so 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c is less than 0 now uh, we'll substitute the value of 1 over 1 plus c minus e raised to c as this expression so we'll have a log of 1 plus x minus e raised to x plus 1 over x is less than 0 right so now from this inequality we can easily uh, obtain this one right see uh, what we will do now we will multiply both sides by x why because x being a positive number because x is greater than uh, 0 right so now if we multiply both sides by x we can easily get rid of this x uh, because x is a positive number and the direction of the inequality remains the same right so we will get log of 1 plus x minus e raised to x plus 1 is less than 0 and now we can take uh, these two terms to the right hand side of uh, uh, this inequality so we will get log of 1 plus x uh, less than e raised to x minus 1 right so viewers this is how uh, we uh, get this inequality for all x greater than 0 right so we have log of 1 plus x is less than e raised to x minus 1 uh, for all x greater than 0 right so this is how by the application of Lagrange's mean value theorem uh, we can prove uh, these type of important inequalities.